Hundreds of family pets bolted. Leah couldn't save Thomas, her cat. I was in the local hospital when these fires broke, where I'd been admitted because of some complications from brain surgery about 50 days earlier. And it was ultimately evacuated from the fire at 4 in the morning and walked into a scene straight out of hell. I knew that there were going to be hundreds of cats that were going to be out there, many of them injured and burned. What, it didn't matter what it was going to take. I was going to save those cats. So I started following Shannon Jay when I was watching him with the rescues here during the Tubbs fire. And uh, the, the man's amazing. I spotted this little critter uh, last night. And we set the trap seating and monitored it with a camera. And then uh, and we got this little pooper. He would prove to be one of Shannon's holy grail cats. He had a microchip. Hopefully, we're never going to go through this again. Oh, my God. I mean, everything's burned. It made Dove Fire look like a walk through Disneyland. I was in that burn zone five days later. Government officials arrived in paradise. And what we just saw at, at paradise is just, uh, you know, it's just not acceptable. The public began to ask where the official rescuers were. I am Norm Ozine from North Valley Animal Disaster Group. I'm part of the evacuation effort up there. We don't see a lot of animals having problems up there. Hey, sweetie, there you are. God damn it, she's burned to shit. Hundreds of other rescuers arrived and were turned back. Everything is going according to a plan. There were forces at work that were, were trying to keep me out of there. And fortunately, that didn't work. There's a comment about thousands of pets missing. This misinformation gets out there all the time. There's at least 2,500 cats still out there. These cats are ingesting toxic water, and a toxic soup of ash. We can't just leave them there. 